So in this video, we're going to think about how the iron product of water relationship arises. And to do this, we're going to use the example of the reaction of ammonia with water, which is represented by the equilibrium reaction that's shown here. So here we have ammonia. Uh, and in the forward direction, ammonia is acting as a base and water is acting as an acid. So ammonia accepts a hydrogen ion to become the ammonium ion. Water acts as an acid, so this donates a hydrogen ion to the base, and it itself uh, becomes the hydroxide ion over here. So you've got this base accepting the hydrogen ion to become an acid, this acid donating a hydrogen ion to become a base. So you've got two conjugate acid base pairs here. You've got one pair here and you've got another here. So those are our two pairs. Now if you think about the, the forward reaction specifically, um, we can write uh, the equilibrium constant for the forward reaction. Uh, this is equivalent to the base dissociation constant Kb. So we write that Kb is equal to the concentration of the ammonium ion and H4 plus multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxide ion divided by the concentration of ammonia and H3. And here we can ignore water on the left side of the equation for the reasons we give in the chapter. Now we think about the back reaction, when you've got ammonium reacting with water, we see a different reaction taking place. So for the back reaction involving ammonium in H4, when that reacts with the water in solution, this time we see a different reaction. So we're seeing NH3 and hydronium ion. H3O plus. So what's happening here is the ammonium ion is acting as an acid. That's donating hydrogen ion. And here water is acting as a base. So it's accepting a hydrogen ion. So the ammonium ion is accept, uh, donating proton to become ammonia. So you've got one conjugate acid base pair there. And in this instant, the water is acting as a base, is accepting the hydrogen ion to become H2O plus there. Now we can write the acid dissociation constant for this particular reaction, which we represent by Ka. So Ka in this case, again, you start with what's on the right hand side of the equation is equal to the concentration of NH3 plus multiplied by the H. O plus and then divided by the concentration of NH4 plus and again we don't need to put water here in this uh, equation so there we have the acid dissociation constant so if we now multiply Kb by Ka so we're going to write be multiplied by Ka, we can use the um, expressions you've just written down. So we've just said that Kb is equal to this, the NH4 plus multiplied by OH minus divided by NH3 multiplied by Ka which we've just written down as NH3 times the, NH, the H3O plus divided by oops, NH4 plus, like that. That's what we get if we multiply them two together. What we can do here is then cancel some terms. That term cancels with this one. And this term 
cancels with this one. So what we're then left with is the fact that KB multiplied by KA is equal to, what we're left with here is OH minus multiplied by H3O plus. And um, we know that OH minus multiplied by H3O plus is the same as writing KW, which is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So if you use the example of ammonia as the ammonia in water as the reaction example here and we've shown through this calculation how we end up with we multiply the two uh, the acid and the base dissociation constants together we're left with OH minus multiplied by H3O plus which is the iron product of water and this important relationship between these three is true for all weak acids and bases.